Hundreds of Chicago area parents joined in a march against gun violence in Washington, D.C. today. The Save Our Students rally was held in the National Mall on the National Mall and calls for a federal assault weapons ban. NBC 5's Christian Farr spoke to some of the local participants. Assault weapons have to go! Hey! Ho! On Washington, D.C.'s National Mall this morning. There's 1,300 people here to represent the majority of Americans who want a federal ban on assault weapons. Those nearly 1,500 people gathered in their fight to make that mission a reality. Chicago area mother Ashby Beasley stood with them. Mass shootings that are done with AR-15 style weapons and assault weapons kill six times as many people as shootings that are taken out with a handgun. Beasley and her young son survived the July 4th Highland Park mass shooting. And we all have to make our lawmakers make change now or this is going to keep happening. Since that terrible tragedy, Beasley has led the charge for an assault weapons ban. And that's because she says these mass shootings are impacting its youngest victims, children. Beasley says her son is struggling with PTSD as a result of the Highland Park shooting. I live with him and I see him, you know, the pain, the trauma, the PTSD. And so I don't want to see any other child go through that. I don't want to see any other family have to live through that. Organizers of the March 4th Save Our Students rally held this event today because it is the first day when Congress goes back into session after its spring break. And they have a message for lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. I would say I want Congress to listen to the majority of Americans who want a federal ban on assault weapons and to pass the ban now. Ashby Beasley plans to stay in D.C. until Thursday. She wants to speak with lawmakers, including Illinois Senator Dick Durbin, in hopes that he will help put that federal assault weapons ban in place. In Highland Park, Christian Farr, NBC5 News. Thanks to Christian.